is the reason why it's kept this storm system south of us. Earlier this week, we thought we'd get two, three, maybe four inches of snow, and they will see that in central Illinois over to Detroit. You just heard Kansas City. And it was cold today, and we're going to get a reinforcing shot of cold air early afternoon tomorrow that will last through Saturday before we finally start warming things up. We were in the teens this morning. It was frosty this afternoon. We only managed to get to 27 degrees. Oh, a year ago we were 65. Now that is spring. Uh, temperatures today barely getting out of the teens in some locations, like Waukesha at 21, Beaver Dam at 20. These are the high temperatures, and our normal high is 42. Nowhere near that. Waukesha at this hour, uh, it's only dropped a degree since we were on the air at 6 o'clock. The wind is light, so the wind chill is pretty much the same, which is good. Uh, your current temperatures are in the teens and 20s, and you're seeing those wind chills once again in the teens and 20s. A couple of single digits to the north. So that snow did get really close. We did have some flurries south side of Milwaukee down to Lake Geneva, Kenosha Racine, maybe even a little dusting in some parts of Kenosha County, but the shovelable snow, maybe even the snowblower snow is just about an hour or so south of us into Illinois, and there are even heavier snow bands down towards Bloomington Normal, as I mentioned, south side of Chicago, Gary, and into southern portions of lower Michigan. So the weather headlines, besides that storm missing us to the south, we are back to January cold. We could see some flurries tomorrow with that next cold front and then another shot of light snow Saturday night with a warm front that then brings spring temperatures for Sunday. And don't forget, we also spring forward Saturday night. So we're going to start seeing that sunset closer to seven o'clock by Sunday evening. So here's midday tomorrow. The cold front's coming through the state and with that a few flurries, you don't have to worry about flurries. And then for Saturday, it is just sunny. Thank goodness it's sunny because it is going to be cold. And then Saturday night with the warm front coming through, a little burst of snow, half inch, maybe an inch, and that will quickly be gone by midday Sunday with some warm air moving in. Tomorrow, our warm part of the day is the noon hour at 34 degrees. Then the cold front comes through. The wind shift to the northwest, 20 to 30. Temperatures start dropping. Could see some afternoon flurries and wind chills will be, they'll be in the single digits by late afternoon. Then the big warm up for next week, which we've been talking about. Here's the future wind chills. By tomorrow morning, you're looking at teens. By tomorrow evening, single digits above and below zero. And by Saturday morning, seven below in Milwaukee to 12 below in Fond du Lac. Oh, it is going to be cold. This is March, right? Uh, 24 on Saturday with wind chills near zero all day and 48 on Sunday, Monday near 50. Here's your weather kid, two year old Charlotte. She's bundled up for the frosty condition. She's adorable. We'll be right back.